So this person hasn't even tried the products. How in the world can this person legitimately, genuinely, and morally sell these products to her friends and family? So you are approached by an Amway distributor and you are here looking for an answer if you should join a company or maybe you are already an ABO. This video is going to show you the truth and facts about a company's products and the reality of the business opportunity. Now, if you're already an Amway business owner watching this video, you may not like what you're going to see because though the products are great, you're doing a good job selling good quality products to the people around you. The fact is the majority of the ABOs are not making the kind of income and lifestyle that most uplines and leaders portray. The idea of working hard, promoting the products to people around you and recruiting your friends and family as sales representatives and maybe one day becoming successful making 6, 7 and even 8 figures a year is highly unlikely with the traditional methods. I've explained this in another video right here, so do check it out if you are an ABO. I hope that this can help you understand why traditional network marketing doesn't work. And I hope that it is not offensive to you at all because that video provides you with lots of useful insights about the industry. Maybe it can help you out in your business. But anyway, just to give you a little intro about myself, my name is Jack. I run this YouTube channel as well as a blog under the same name, IncomeStreamBuilders.com. I've been in many network marketing companies and I failed in almost every venture because I was doing the same thing over and over again which is to prospect people around me and expecting with hard work and dedication one day I will become successful. But by definition of Albert Einstein, I am insane because he said that insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So I didn't exactly know why I didn't succeed in those past ventures, but it is until I came across a concept that allowed me to make a six-figure income online. I've shared that concept for network marketers in the same video I've mentioned just now, and you can check it out if you want. I've left the link in the description down below as well. So I'm not some Someone who hasn't been in this industry talking about the stuff that is happening in it. And if you're interested to know how I'm making this kind of income online and full disclaimer, this is not network marketing. I'm not going to talk bad about Mway just to ask you to join another company. It is a method that I discovered back in 2015 to make real money online. If you're interested to know, then click on the first link down below in the description. But anyway, whether you check out that link or not, in this video, I want to provide you with all the information you need to help you decide if you should buy the products from Mway or become an ABO. Now let's talk about the products first because without the products, Mway would just be like a pyramid scheme. Now hold up a second, don't get me wrong, don't jump to a conclusion yet. I'm not saying that Mway is a pyramid scheme, I haven't finished my piece. I'm saying that if there are no products or the products do not benefit the consumers or if the consumer do not find value in the products, then Mway is a pyramid scheme. So before we jump to a conclusion, let's discover if the products are any good. If it's not, you know the answer. Now let's look at some of the best selling Mway products. We have the Nutrilite Protein Powder, the Double X Vitamin, and the Artistry Youth Extend Skincare System. So let's dive into some consumer comments about the company and the products and now I'll explain a little bit about them so you have some insights about the company and the products instead of just listening to this guy right here telling you what is good and what is bad. So here we are on Amazon and we are on this product. Amazon is the best place to research if the products work. Now you can do your further research later, but let me go through some of the reviews and basically let you know the general consensus around these products. So you'll see people saying this powder is really good. It's easy to digest. It works well in your daily smoothie to keep you full, wonderful in smoothies and all these awesome comments. And on the other hand, you'll see people saying it's not working for them and it's too expensive and this person is allergic to the product. Now let's check out another product, the Double X Vitamin. And you'll see this person says this, but please don't take this as a medical claim or anything like that because it's not scientifically proven. Then we have this person saying that she has an abundance of energy. 
but it's pricey. So this product costs $77 for 186 tablets and it's recommended that you take three tablets two times a day. So $77 divided by 186 tablets, which means one tablet costs around 41 cents. So you will consume six tablets a day, which equates to around $2.48 per day. So it's $77 per month for one person. And if you are buying this for your family, it's definitely gonna cost you. So this is what I understand from a consumer standpoint and why people are saying this product is expensive. Now back to the review, we have this person saying this is a second order, it's an excellent product, and we have many good reviews on this product. But at the same time, we have people saying that it contains soy and yeast, which some people are allergic to it. And we have people saying that it doesn't work. And this person is saying that this product is not suitable for him. Now, here's the thing. You have seen the majority of the people saying that these products are amazing. Some say it didn't work and some have experienced negative effects. So here's the conclusion about the effectiveness of the products. They don't work for everybody because every one of us has different body types, different allergies and immunity. And the only way for us to know if it works is to try it. There is no other way around it. You can read all the reviews you want, but you may not have the same experience with other people. So now let's do back to the first question as to whether or not Mway is a pyramid scheme. If you don't know what a pyramid scheme is, it is basically a recruitment scheme that sells a product that has no value and of no use to consumers. People are in it just to make money without actually benefiting from the product sold. So people pay money into pyramid schemes to earn money like an interest. But the fact is that those interests are generated from people who buys in later on. So would Mway fall into that category when they have products that are praised by the majority of the people, even if they are not ABOs of the company? Now, I know there are a lot of anti-MLM people who might think differently and I totally get it. And it is because of the deceptive marketing techniques used by some of the ABOs and I will talk more about it later but honestly by definition by facts and my opinion Mway is not a pyramid scheme or a scam it is a legitimate business now with that said let's take a different look at the business itself Mway has been around for a very long time probably one of the longest standing multi-level marketing companies and whenever you hear any MLM news they will usually be associated with Mway be it good or bad so with such a long standing you would think that the reputation of the company is good and a lot of people will start buying their products right hence it makes it easier for ABOs to promote the products effectively right but here's the thing a lot of people think that Mway is a scam or a premium scheme because of the things I'm gonna share with you so we are on better business bureau and I'm pretty sure you know what this site is about Mway has an A plus rating because they are constantly replying and resolving complaints it's not because better business bureau recommends it but either way if the company is responding to all the complaints it's a good sign but let's take a look at some of the reviews now I'm not gonna look at those five star reviews because they are usually written by an ABO so I will check out some of the reviews with three stars and below. So if you look at this, Kelly doesn't have a problem with Mway as a company, but she has a problem with the methods of advertising that makes her very uncomfortable and makes enjoying the products very painful. She goes on to say that Mway uses third parties, which are the ABOs, who will use high pressure sales tactics in order to get the products out in the world. And she goes on to say that it's very uncomfortable dealing with these sellers. If you buy from them, even once, they constantly ask you about joining and why you should sell Mway as well. Now, this is precisely why so so many people are calling Mway a premium scheme. As you probably know, the best way to earn a lot of money from Mway is to have a team of sales representatives selling the products. If you are relying solely on your personal retail sales, you're not going to make a lot of money because you don't have the means to reach out to thousands of people. So for most ABOs, the only way is to rely on someone else's connection. And from there, one connection leads to another and then another and so forth until your team grows really big. So the only logical thing for some ABOs is to focus on recruitment. The products and its benefits are secondary to them. And that's the main cause of such controversy. Even though Mway has its policies and guidelines that says presenting the business primarily as a self-improvement program rather than a for-profit business is a misrepresentation of the business. For example, presenting the business as a way to improve yourself, save your marriage, or improve relationships with your family or others implies that the primary 
activity in the business is something other than generating profit. So this should not be a practice for ABOs. And it goes on to say for sponsors only, an Amway business is built on the balance of retailing products and sponsoring others who do the same. The Amway sales and marketing plan do not compensate ABOs for the act of sponsoring alone. So it's actually against the company's policy if an ABO's primary objective is sponsoring. I'm not sure if they are aware about this because it is clearly stated there. And let's go to the next review and as you can see, this person has written a super detailed story of her encounter. You can read all about it. The link is in the description. But here's the main point. How dare he mentor me under the pretense of personal development, invite me to his home for an evening of personal connection while leaving out some crucial details, chiefly the fact that he wanted to convert me into a sales rep for his business and that I was only one of the many of his victims. So this person hasn't even tried the products. How in the world can this person legitimately, genuinely, and morally sell these products to her friends and family. If you position the business opportunity as a way of self-improvement, it's a bait and switch and people will think negatively about the company and its practice. And just imagine yourself as an ABO using such sales tactics on your friends and family that's where a lot of relationships got tarnished. And if you go to another review, it says multiple IBO falsely claimed for years that all the artistry, makeup, and skincare products were pharmaceutical grade, which is against the Amway business practice policy as well. Now, the reason this is happening is because of the MLM setup where there are hundreds or thousands of teams and leaders. It's really hard to manage all ABOs, which leads to the second point that the team that you join makes a huge difference. The Knowledge of an ABO from one team may not be the same as one from the other team. So if you're interested in joining Amway, the best way to know if the team is good or not is to look back at your experience with the ABO you have encountered because whatever you have gone through, you'll be doing the exact same thing to your prospects as well. So if you find that you have been through some deceptive marketing to land on the Amway business opportunity, it's better not to join that team because you're gonna do the same thing to others which I believe you don't want to do that. Honestly, business opportunities like this should never be targeted at your close friends or your family members unless they are the ones looking for you. It's great to share a good product with your close ones but when it comes to business, it is never going to work out unless everyone around you is supportive. But if it's not friends and family, then what right? As I've mentioned earlier, there's a video about that in the description or just wait till the end of the video, i post that on an end screen. So before I wrap this up about Mway, I'm pretty sure by now you know if you should join a company as an ABO and if you don't think that this is a suitable business for you and you want to know the method that I use to make money online, not just a little bit of money but a lot of money without talking to anybody physically, without spending a lot of money up front, then click on the first link down below this video, I'm happy to show you how it works. Now to wrap this up, Mway is not a scam, it is not a premium scheme and honestly, the reason why people have a bad impression about the company is mainly because of those reps who are pushy and salesy and they are using deceptive marketing tactics. In terms of the products, it will not work for everybody and the only way for you to know if it works is to try it yourself. And finally, the business opportunity, if you want to join it, make sure that the team you join is good and supportive and you have to brace yourself because it's not going to be easy. Just Google the keyword is sales tough and you will find the answer. Plus, if you join this business, please do not see your friends and family as prospects. Promote the products to them only if you think it will benefit them and because you want them to consume good quality products. But never try to recruit them unless they are the ones wanting to learn more about the business from you. There are better ways to do this business, honestly. Anyway, I hope that this video has provided some insights about the company and the products. And if you found value on this video, can you do me a favor? Hit the thumbs up till it turns blue for the YouTube algorithm. I truly appreciate that. And if you want to learn more about how you can make money online, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so that you'll be the first to know when I publish new videos on this channel. I wish you all the best in whatever you decide to do, be it join a company, buy the products, or check out how I make money online. And if you have some time, I'll see you on either of these videos on the right.